continuing with chapter 10, talking about circles, 10.2 uh, is going to talk about uh, measuring angles and the arcs of our circles. So, um, the first thing we need to know is a central angle. You'll be talk uh, talking about that. Um, it's just an angle that intersects the circle in two points and has the vertex at the center of our circle. So remember, we could call this circle, circle L, because that would be our center. So our angle, our central angle, might be angle J LP because it has its endpoints on the circle and it touches the center. So we'll call this our central angle, noting that it is in the center of our circle. Um, an arc is a part of the circle that is defined by two endpoints, and this is part of the circumference. So this might be, this is part of your arc right here. It's kind of the pizza crust of our pizza, if you might, you can kind of talk, think about it like that. Um, a minor arc is just an arc that measures less than um, 180 degrees, so I might say that um, JP, so from end point to end point, that part of the arc right here from end point to end point is our minor arc. I could call that JP, and that's the notation. Um, another minor arc might be JK, since it is. Um, less than 180 degrees. A minor arc is just one that measures greater than 180 degrees. Normally we're going to label it with three letters here and then two letters for your minor arc. Sometimes you'll see it with three but most of the time it'll be with um, two. So I'm going to go from J, end point J, I'm going to hit K, and then I'm going to go all the way around to that would be my major arc, noting that it is greater than 180 degrees. So um, the order does matter. J, K, and then I'm going to hit P. So your start, hit K, and then finish through P. That will be your um, major arc. So J, hit K, and even though I hit Q, I need to continue all the way around to like Jeff says. A semicircle is just an arc that measures 180 degrees because I know that JL is a radius. If I continue my radius through the center to point Q, that would be um, JQ would be my diameter. And the diameter is actually going to make a semicircle. So I could say that J, K, Q, J, K, Q is a um, semicircle. Or to go the other way, I could say that Q hitting P and then J, Q, P, J is also. So those three letters really tell you the direction you're going in. Congruent arcs are just arcs in the same circle, or we can have them in congruent circles. Remember, congruent circles have the same measure of their radii are the same, that have the same measure. So just arcs that one may be 50 in circle A, one may be 50 in circle B, and if those two circles are congruent, then the arcs are congruent. <clears throat> Adjacent arcs, arcs in the circle that have exactly one point in common. So if we go back over here to look at our picture, I could say that J, arc JP and arc PQ are adjacent because they share that um, point. So JP arc is adjacent to 
to keep you. And last, our arc length, which is we will have an equation for this, is the distance between the endpoints along the arc measure in linear units. So this is going to be part of our circumference, um, or how much how much crust did you get out of the pizza? You might ask. Sometimes crust is my favorite part. So um, some heat concepts for our central angle. Remember, that's the angle that is in the center. The sum of the measures of the central angles of a circle with no interior points in common is 360. So I could say angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 equals 360 degrees. Alrighty. Um, if an angle is creates a diameter, we know that we can set those equal to 180. So let's look at our next example. Find the value of x. So we can see that, um, I would say look for um, vertical angles, look for um, the diameter to see what you can come up with if that helps at all. Um, so you see a circle, and I can see that I'm missing this angle, so I'm, I couldn't necessarily use 360 degrees because I don't have all of the angles in that circle, but I do have this diameter, RV, so since RV is my diameter, I know the diameter makes a 180 degree arc or angle, so I can say um, angle RTS plus RTU plus UTV equals 180 degrees. So 8x minus 4 plus 13x minus 3 plus 5x plus 5 equals 180. So using 180, you can also see if you can use 360. So I'm just going to combine like terms. 8 plus 13 plus 5 gives me 26x. Negative 4 minus 3 plus 5 gives me minus 2 equals 180. Adding 2 to each side, 2x or 26x equals 182. Divide both sides by 26, so my x is going to equal 6. <coughs> Alright, go ahead and stop your checkpoint and stop this video and do your checkpoint. There's your answer. Alright, next we're going to talk about the arc and it's measure, so we're actually going to try to find that central angle, which will also tell us something about arc AB. Right, so if it's a minor arc, um, it's the shortest arc connecting two endpoints. So the measure of a minor arc is less than 180 and is equal to the measure of its related central angle. So if angle ACB equaled 45 degrees, so this angle right here equaled 45, I know that the measure of arc AB, so the part of the pizza crust out of 360, is going to be 45 degrees also. So that's for minor arcs. What about major arcs? This is the longest arc connecting two endpoints of a circle. Um, it's going to be greater than 180 and equals and equal to 360 minus the measure of the minor arc with the same endpoints. So if I knew from above that AB was, let's just say, 45 de degrees, but I wanted to find the measure of ADB, and let's look at that. I go from A 
I hit D, and then I go all the way back around to B. I want to know what that is. So, I'm going to take 360 minus the minor arc that touches it. So, notice they have the two endpoints. So, I'm just going to take subtract those two. So, I'm going to say that um, arc A, D, B is 315 degrees. Um, a semicircle, remember, is used with the diameter. Always equals 180. Because I have a diameter, which is half a circle, so half of 360 equals 180 degrees. All right, let's see if we can use some of that in our next example. I know that WC is my radius. Um, of circle C. Identify the arc that is major, minor, and a semicircle, and find its measure. So the first one, x, z, y. So I'm going to start at x, I'm going to hit z, and then I'm going to go all the way around to y. Because I can see that x, y is a diameter, I know that this is a semicircle. And I know all semicircles measure the same, so x, z, y arc is going to equal 180 degrees. All right, what about w, z, x? So start at w. I'm going to go around to hit z. And then I need to hit x, so I can't go out of order. Remember, order matters. All right, so I know it is greater than the diameter, so I know that it is a major arc. And the two, I know that since this is 90 degrees, I know that arc WX is 90 degrees. So I'm going to take um, 360 minus 90 degrees, which would give me a remaining 270 degrees, which would be for the measure of W, Z, X is arc. All right, and last one, X, W. So I need to go from X to W. All right, since it is less than the diameter, I'm going to say that this is a minor arc. And the minor arc equals the central angle. So that central angle is, like we said before, 90 degrees. So I know that the measure of our arc is also 90 degrees. All right, go ahead and stop this video and check your checkpoints really fast. Here are your answers, and we are going to come back for part two um, with the next video.